Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Marcus Aurelius, and this is Crusader Kings II, the Byzantine Empire. And welcome to the forested fields of Krizeviki, where we are currently laying siege to the possessions of Countess Michaela of Krizeviki, which is Slavonia, our first time fighting in Slavonia. And I did a very bad thing, or rather, Tip did a really bad thing, but it was through my guiding hand, and that is we declared war on Croatia in my rush to conquest last episode, and I did not realize that I had already warred upon them, and as such, I took a very strong negative diplomacy penalty. This is very bad, because it is leading to a gigantic faction for Prince Zinger to take over the Empire. And though I do love Zinger, if he does take over the Empire, we lose. We being those of us who are watching and playing this game. So we need to come to a solution. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find Countess Kira of Neapolis. Who is here. So she's, she's Italian, basically. Well, she's Greek Orthodox, but she's in Italy. That's what I mean by she's Italian. And her heir is some idiot who's not even a dynastic heir. She can't even produce children, apparently, for goodness sake. Anyway, we are going to have to try to get her not to do that. So I'm going to send Miyuki over here, although she's currently in the middle of a war, so she's kind of busy, but I'm going to send her to discourage this woman from leading this faction. And in the meantime, I'm going to find some of these fellows that are supporting her and buy them off. Do Chrysophon, do Vakea. And it's a good thing I have some money. There you go, you like me. 60 should be enough, we'll keep an eye on it. Do Thomas of Armenia Con? The Dews are the ones I really care about. The Counts I'm not too, too bothered about. Constantinos of Paphlagonia. Okay. And do Constantinos of Samos. Man, you guys are real original with those names, huh? Wow, he's expensive. Holy goodness. But now he's at 55. That might not be enough, but we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll do this slowly and see if that monetary outlay, which roughly equated to about 250 gold, not 350 gold, what am I saying, will lead to any kind of benefit while we're currently laying siege here, which is going to take some time. Another thing I want to bring up is that I received in the mail today a number of books on the Byzantine Empire that I haven't purchased before, one of which is The Byzantine Wars by John Halden, which looks awesome. It's more of a tactical treatise on the specific wars the Byzantines fought. And wow! Tip is dead. And we lost all these claims to Sicily. And ja I knew this was going to happen. This is why I was so worried about James. He's still two years away from being in charge. And Tip is gone. So, who are you? My Magistros is my regent. And she's one of the factions to put Zinger on the, on the board. Well, first things first. We need to make her really happy. Alright, so she's she just loves little James, so that's good. She's the regent. That is that is terrible. Alright, James. Who is someone awesome for you? I need someone who's either Midas touched, probably Midas touched, because we need to, we need you to have kids like crazy. That's more important than diplomacy right now. Okay, so let's take a look here. No one's really good at this. She's okay. She's chaste, though. Yeah. And cruel. Nona is content and zealous. She's she's good enough for his last two years, I think. And sh she's Midas touched. No one in the family. Well, Desdemona. Actually, Midas touched. Hair lip. So why is she so much better? 
Well, not so much. He's two better, I guess. Then, then no, we're gonna keep it in the family. His older sister Desdemona. Oh wait, no. Ooh, she hates him. Holy moly! No, 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 no. Let's see. Yeah, she's a pretender and claim it. Damn. Probably not the best idea. Pelagia? Yeah, the girl that I hate. That's perfect. Shady Back also hates him quite a bit. Anastasia? She's not Midas Touched. Alright, Nona it is. What trouble can an old Countess do? And we have to get rid of one of our lands, unfortunately, because he doesn't have the stewardship to hold it, and we need to keep people nice. And I think I just wasted that money, because I made those people like tip better, and they don't care anything about James, so... Not entirely good. Did Tip earn a name, at least? No. He ended up... How do you get a name? I mean, Tip conquered freaking everything in the world, and he's just Tip. I... I don't know. This is stupid. Arsenda is still alive. She is a gray eminence. She'd also be a pretty decent teacher. Oh, she's Castilian, though. Oh, yeah, I didn't check. Is Nona... She's Greek. Okay. All right. So, what do we have here that we need to get rid of? We have... This one, Naisos. Yeah, everything else we need, unfortunately. Seven is the total of our two counties. Hmm. No one in the family is really ready. So. We're going to need a good diplomat. Jelka, no, we already... You're... You hate me too? Why? Oh, foreigner in short reign. Okay. And you're... you're... Already a ruler. You're the regent, right? You're a countess. You're a courtier. You, oh, you're the unit guy, right? And you're Yeah, you're pretty solid. Oh, but you can't have a territory. You are content and craven. I like you. Oh, but you're a count. Son of a gun. Ruler, none. No rulers. You, Marcus. No, you're a do. And you're in my family. But that doesn't matter, but you're a do. Gregorios, courtier. You have some good traits, some not so good traits. You're 16 years old, you're a twin. Actually, you're pretty decent. If I had any young daughters, I might consider marrying them to you. But for right now, I'm going to give you a county. Enjoy. Alright, so now... With the new ruler, we're going to spread some even more money around because he has short reign, and that makes people itchy to try to take over. The best way to do this probably is to go to vassals, do by rank, and go down the list here. So the Dew of Samos doesn't like me at all. He, he needs some money, unfortunately. I think I just gave him money, and he's expensive. And, oh lord, even that's only 20 you can be Antipathos. 30. That's not good, but it's not terrible. Why did it go back? Okay. No. What in the... Oh, sorry. We're, we're at this guy's, not James. Okay, moving along. The Duchess of the Aegean Islands. Zene Yutha blah blah blah. You're pretty cheap, okay. It really bugs me that I have to keep going back and doing this. Okay, Kreftwer. Oh, you like me a lot. 64. Kreftwer is solid. Don't have to worry about her. The Duke of Thessalonica is solid. Duke of Armenia Khan. All these same guys. I should have all these guys killed. They're trouble for everybody. Okay, maybe if I go back twice? There we go. Even with that money, he still only likes me 25. Oh, man. How would you like to be an Antipathos? Okay. This is going to be really tight, folks. I don't, I'm not happy at all. Constantine Dukas, the Duo of Paphlagonia. 
It's a good thing we have all this money. Oh, he's so expensive. Alright, he's up to 57. The Dew of Trebizond. You're far away. I don't really care much about you. Dew of Achaia. 25. Oi. No. I'm all out of Antipathoses to give out. Sibriot, 14, and that's right around the corner. Okay, so no one likes little James. And frankly, I don't blame them. He's he's a little kid. He doesn't have control yet. He's being ruled by a regent. Oh, man. I need to save the money. I mean, we need we need to raise mercenaries, perhaps, if things go sour. This tip, this was a terrible time to die. All right, factions. Okay, the Prince Zinger faction is looking pretty down. I don't want to imprison Duchess Anastasia, Count Philippos. The Dew of Achaia. He's the leader of a plot. Absolutely. Let's see, 72% chance. Hmm. Hmm. He actually likes me okay, though. The only reason he doesn't like me is because he... Oh, he is envious. And because I have a female heir. Hmm. I don't know. His heir is this lady. So you, you have a female heir, too, jerk. You're mad at me for it? She's all right with James. Short reign is basically her only problem. She's ambitious, though. Is he ambitious? No. All right. Well, on virtue of the fact that your daughter is ambitious, you are going to be staying where you are for now, sir. All right. This war needs to get won quickly so we can bring our troops back home. I can still raise the Varangians, I think, or are they part of this army? Maybe they are. I have my personal and county levies, though. Okay, Miyuki was successful, and she is now the Countess of Vidin. The whole family got involved in that. So we now have Bononia. So Bulgaria is looking pretty bad. All right. Oh, shoot. No. Now all the burgers hate James, because he's so young he can't diplomatically tell them no. As long as these guys don't declare war on me. The Abbasids are looking kind of strong again. The next few years are going to be a pretty tough time for the Byzantine Empire. Until James becomes of age. But we're still okay for right now. Give Patriarch a chance. Man, that Patriarch's terrible. He needs to die one of these days. Okay, things are staying secure for the most part. Factions? Oh, jeez. Oh, Jiminy. Prince Zinger's faction is humongous. I've paid off all of you assholes. Pelagia? Come on now. You're, you're married to a family member. Although Zinger's a family member, too. Ugh. <sighs> I hate you, Pelagia. The Count of Saluki, I don't care about you. Who's this old man? The Dew of Charsinian? Didn't I? Yeah, I paid you off. I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. Have some money. Okay, well. This could bring it all crashing down. Hopefully, if Miyuki is successful, we can get the whole plot stopped. But that doesn't mean someone else isn't going to create a new faction. They have half as many men as me. Which is quite a few. Desdemona's in the Lower Crown Authority faction. Great. All of you people are going to die. Even the ones I paid off didn't do any good at all. 
They all like Zinger better. Forty-seven. Okay, so it went down a little bit. That's good to know. We'll just keep that in the background here. We may have to white piece out of this war. I don't know. This is taking an awful long time. We are currently getting a lot of money, though. That's that's good news. So, well, this would have happened any time, though. All the bad stuff that Tip did at the end there, it didn't affect James. So, really, it's just the fact that he's a little kid. If Tip could have only just lasted for two more years. Oh, man. 47. Okay, so it's not really getting any larger than this. James gets content, which is terrible. 46%. Oh no, Niasha died. She was one of the few family members that didn't side against me in the plot. Come on. Shadia back, and Desdemona both want lower crown authority. We're about to take this. Come on. This is very tense. Very tense times we're living in. I don't know how much strength they need to have before they finally declare open war on me. Okay. Storm. So we can bring our troops back to defend the homeland against the potential usurpers. Okay. Storm. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. Thank you. Okay. Troops are coming back home. Along with my best generals. Zara, Lady Person Man, and Constantinos. Meanwhile, we have to give this away. I'm definitely not going to give it to one of the conspirators. We're now 47%. Zara! Zara! All I've done for you? Alright. There's no way I'll get him on my side. Zara? No. Pelagia? They all... I mean, she's close. She's close. But they all like Zinger a ton more than they like me. Zinger's just a real popular guy. He must be really friendly. How easy would it be to murder Zinger? Oh, I can't afford it. And I cannot plot against him either. Oh, because I'm just a kid. Kids don't plot. Alright. Someone who's good at intrigue that I can count on. You're ambitious. Okay, I like you, Theodora. Okay, cool. Alright. So I'm building loyalty. Now they're down to 44%. I am almost there. 15 years old. Almost 16, actually. So we've we've survived through some of the tough times. Let's see, in the world right now, the Abbasids are basically back to where they were. Except for what we've taken in the coastal areas, which we can continue to holy war away from them. Although we need to solidify James first. Georgia seems to be meeting a wall against these Yagbuids. Bulgaria is pretty much done for. The Hungarians haven't done much at all. West Francia is being eaten up by Aquitaine. Nothing's really changing here in Spain. Italy's back. Lotharingia and East Francia are having a time. Bavaria's here now. Silesia. Interesting. Okay, this faction isn't going anywhere, thank goodness. Oh my. All of you. 
All of you are going to die. This Armenia Kong guy is a pain in the butt. And Achaea. Oh, Calabria too? Really, Calabria? After all I've done for you? Well, I guess I, as James, haven't done anything for you. It was Marcus initially and then Tip. Why don't you just... Why don't you and your slow mistress just spend some time together and not worry about politics for a moment? Meanwhile, Miyuki is not being very successful in getting this plot taken care of, but that's all right. Antonios Aurelius wants to become Sacularius. Who are you, Antonios? You are Jelka and Count Dr. Quaxalver's child. So you are actually going to be the Count. Yeah, you are the Count. Isn't that, not, isn't that enough for you? Okay, whew. Anastasia is now, unfortunately, gone. I don't really care about her heirs. Some Nikeda, some taking off the list. I don't really care about him. But I have all the named folks here. And we lost my Magistros. And apparently, I thought she was my... She was one raising me, too. We need someone who's an amazing diplomat. You. And you are going to improve diplomatic relations with my people here. Okay. Wait, so who's raising me? Okay, Nona, that's right. And she loves me. So that's good. My sisters hate me. My brother hates me. Y'all are traitors. Traitors to the throne. And the game is paused. Why are you my regent? Well, I don't care. You're cool. But I thought... Oh, right. Regent and guardian are different things. Right. Okay, the Count of Arsa died. And I my heart just skipped a beat right there because I thought... I thought that James had died. Oh, my. All right, someone needs to get Arsa. You're a genius. You're the Countess, though. Ruler, no. Alright, Leon. You seem pretty chill. Unlikely to have... Well, you do have a son. Focus name is a very well-known one. But I think you're safe. You can have Arsa. He wants to kill Leon Choros Ficates. Well, good luck with that. Alright, factions. Nope, they haven't grown. Singer's got to die at some point. He's no, he's 36. He's still got a, a lot of good years left. We need to reinforce. We'll have, we'll have up to 7,000 men when this is all reinforced. Three months till we reach majority. And then we will crush any who dare usurp our power. In fact, we can declare all kinds of wars now because... James hasn't doesn't have a truce with anybody. So we could take this from Bulgaria. Croatia, Slavonia. Alter Key. The Abbasids need a problem. And this guy has a hundred percent decadence. So I mean there should be another civil war. Demetria wants to have a daughter. I don't believe you are under my power, so you can pretty much do whatever you want. No, you're a court and castle noble. I thought I gave you a county. No? Miyuki wants to improve learning. That's good. Oh, well, if that's the case, I get to name I get to name your child. Fantastic. Yeah, and then I'll give you a county after you've had a couple kids. I think that's great. Great idea. Oh, and I believe it took me all the episode to tell you, but... Ronan, look at this, buddy. You have a son, Eudokimos. He is the heir to the county of Aleppo. He seems pretty cool. He's too young to really know what his personality is going to be like, but you wanted a son, you have a son. And we are about ready to have an empire, which means that James needs to start having babies like no one's business. 
so we can get rid of that female heir, negative Mollus. 24, 25, 26. Happy birthday, James. He's an amateurish plotter, really? I give you to two people who are Midas touched and you become an amateurish plotter? Which lowers your stewardship. Oh, God. James, you're terrible. You're content and an amateurish plotter. It's not how I wanted you to end up. We need an amazing diplomat. Either a gray eminence. She has to be a gray eminence or Midas touched. Fertility plus 10. Yeah, we need Midas touched. You're Italian. Really? There aren't any decent Greek women in this entire world? Oh my god, there aren't. You know, the royal family isn't even Greek anymore. I mean, they were 100% Greek with Marcus, but then he married a German, right? So then the kids were half German, half Greek. And then Tip, who was half German, half Greek, married a Spanish woman. So the kids are now half Spanish, quarter German, quarter Greek. So they're more Spanish than they are Greek. And with this next generation, they're going to get even less Greek. You were proud. That's okay. Roth. I don't mind that so much. You're not zealous. Temperate, diligent, and charitable. And you're a fortune builder. Oh, wait. No, you're not minus touched. You are slothful, ambitious, just. How can you be slothful and ambitious? Doesn't slothful mean you're lazy? How can you be lazy and ambitious at the same time? That doesn't make any sense. You want to marry a ruler. I can do that for you. Doge of Genoa. That's pretty decent. That is pretty decent. Froiza, you're 18 years old. Although our diplomacy score is going to be just trashed. Five, you have eight diplomacy. And actually more stewardship, even though you're not a Midas touch. But I want the fertility bonus is what I want. Hmm. No, none of these Midas touch people have really great diplomacy. All right, Froiza. So it goes. I actually get two prestige from marrying into this house. That's pretty interesting. All right. I can pick an ambition. How about to get married? Okay. Excellent. And now that I've picked the ambition, let's get married. Any day now. No, really. I would love to get married. No, we want the prestige. Absolutely. New important decisions. Hold a grand tournament. What will that do? Cost me some gold. Okay, why not? We'll, we'll hold a tournament to celebrate my marriage to, what's her name? Froiza. All right, Froiza. You need to become Orthodox, though. No? How about a gift? All right, good. I'm glad that we can come to an amicable arrangement. All right, I fulfilled my ambition. We need another one. This one's going to be to have a son. I want you to do nothing else but try very difficultly to get a bun in this young woman's oven because we need an heir. All right, and she's orthodox now. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, you look much better with the hat than you do with the, the hood. Oh, we have some prisoners to deal with. Yep. No. Oh, a little girl. All right, we'll release you. Can't I release you? Why can't I release you? Petra, we're going to release you. Okay, what about you? You're worth 26 gold. All right, excellent. Okay, folks. It appears that the crisis has passed. There, the faction's even lower now for Zinger. We're holding a tournament. James is married. Hopefully he'll have a child. Currently his heir is Electera. But the content, why did you get content, James? 
An amateur's plotter. I don't even... How does that even make sense? How does someone who's trained by two people who are Midas touched become an amateurish plotter? Doesn't even make sense. We're still making good money. I can't believe Tip didn't get a name either. That's terrible. Tip deserved a name like the Great or the Mighty or the Conqueror or something. I mean, look at this. Pyrrhos of Carpathos has been tragically wounded. That's terrible. So I think a series of small border wars against these weak powers in the West, I'm sure he's not a heretic, he's fine, is probably the best course of action for right now. Just to get James kind of secure on the throne, to build things slowly, and then once we feel a bit more secure, we can go after this area in Holy War. I definitely want to take Jerusalem sometime during the reign of James. But, you know, things don't always go exactly as you like. Okay, so do Thomas of Armeniacon, that is my cousin, he declines the suggestion by Count Antonios that, that he, I guess his daughter Martha? I don't know. He said no anyways. Good, I hate that guy. Do, do whatever. Alright, we have a new Dutch Duchess of Achaia, which is fantastic. Oh, another tra tragic maiming. Oh, you're the guy who's not even of my culture, so screw you. I hate you. I hope you too bad you didn't die. Duchy of Achaia. Finally, someone decent instead of that jerk. Lazarus Phokos. He has emerged the winner. He deserved it. And he likes me more. So does Kalistos. And so does Maximos. Good. All right. Are you pregnant yet? Desdemona wants to approve her intrigue. And you are not pregnant yet. Come on. I like your I like your coat of arms. Your little stag there. That's nice. But I'd like it better if you had a baby. How's your son doing? Oh no, Princess Desdemona has revoked the bishopric of Serb Cock. Yeah, I wouldn't want a guy teaching my kids named Serb Cock either. Oh wait, no, Serb Cock is the name of the uh, the church. And it's from Ibrahim Ibrahimid. And now she's the Baroness of Serb Cock. Well, that's good. Can't believe all these treasonous people in my family. Although they've all all the family members, it looks like, have quit. Shady back and Des Desdemona still want lower crown authority, though. Why can't you love me? I'm your little brother. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we sure weathered a storm. And next episode probably will conquer a little bit more territory in Bulgaria, Slovakia, and Croatia since James is new to the throne and can do that. And wow, Desdemona is revoking things left and right. And it appears, it appears as if we are probably not going to have a faction war spring up. We've managed to deal with it and our money continues to grow. So I think the next generation has come and we're in good shape. This is two episodes now where we haven't been able to name a child. So hopefully that will change in the next episode. And it looks like Bulgaria is going through yet another civil war. Before we end, let's just take a look at that. No, I'm not going to claim Bulgaria. But it'd be interesting to see if we if we could take one of these real quick. All right. So next episode, maybe we'll take advantage of the Bulgarian Civil War and gain some land. We'll see. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.